Ah, welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American expat. I'm just sitting here munching on these snacks. Getting ready for things that expats have to deal with sometimes. In this case, I'm uh, preparing to catch a flight. I already took my wife to the airport this morning to catch her flight. We're going to be meeting up in Dubai. On our way to France to take care of some things where after we will, or I will, or we, something like that, we'll have to go back to the United States to deal with some things with the house because, well, you know how it is. There's no real freedom in this world. We're all serfs. If I don't go back and pay taxes and do different things, then I will have my house taken away by the lords that uh, rule over us. That sort of thing. And, and I have to cut the grass periodically. You know, I uh, should probably hire someone to do that. It's going to be a mess. Oh. And just to over, over uh, in general, check on the house. But yeah, expat life stuff. So I'm sitting here in China thinking to myself, why am I leaving this place? Well, I mean, we, we just established why I'm leaving this place. But I very well may end up staying in France, I don't know. I'm, I'm debating on that. Uh, for good reasons, which I will get into in a bit. For now, I'm gonna finish my snacks. Yeah, I guess there's just a few things I have to say goodbye to before I leave. For a short time like this outdoor sewing machine museum i'm really gonna miss seeing this all the time actually the hardest part is saying goodbye to my son i mean it's only for a short time but let me tell you if you want to see a man brought to tears let him say goodbye to his only son it might not be in front of everybody but believe me the tears will come anyway i've got to get something to drink i also wanted a chance to get a look from up here on top of the building. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be up here, but, uh, well, I had to get a look. Well, I believe that's the bird sitting out there that's going to be taking us to Dubai. According to the gate, it's on time, but my wife has received information on her phone that suggests it's going to be delayed by an hour. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I have bad luck with flights being delayed in China. It's probably delayed. Either way, I'm going to hang out at the airport here for a little bit. I've got a couple of hours either way. Fun stuff. Well, the flight's delayed. So I might as well hang out here in the uh, first class lounge. Looks like it's time to go. Fun stuff. movies for hours. Uh, at least there's coffee. On the ground. Everybody's up getting their bags. I don't know why everybody jumps up like that. The door's not open. <laughs> uh, finally on the ground. Ah, so this is Dubai. Now to find the hotel show.
Shouldn't be too long of a ride, I'm sure. I'm the only one on the bus. <sighs> well, I'm in the hotel room. And despite being tired, I think that, uh, where was I before this whole journey began? Ah, uh, yes. Reasons. I was going to tell you guys why, uh, reasons why I would leave China. Now, I know, I know, all of you back in the United States are probably thinking, like, well, the reasons are obvious. I mean, the dangers of the Communist Party and all of that. Well, no, not so much. They're not uh, really that dangerous. I mean, I, I don't know why the internet and the news is full of all kinds of things to scare you about that. I mean, unless you're someone who's uh, going there to protest or something like that, they're probably going to leave you alone. So it's not because of that. It's just that things have gotten, well, quite expensive in China. Not, not living costs. I mean, that's gone up too, but... Uh, more, you know, when I was there before, doing business, that sort of thing was uh, a pretty cheap thing to do. I mean, there's a lot of manufactured goods and that sort of thing. Well, they're all a lot more expensive now, and it just doesn't seem very viable in that way. Of course, family's there and they'd love us to stay, but... Uh, Ah, uh, well, we might have to think of other options. Obviously, this YouTube thing isn't paying any of the bills, so I gotta come up with something. And uh, France may have some opportunities. I might end up uh, being between here and there, and every... Well, not here, because this is the Middle East, but... Uh, France and China in the United States. I'll probably always be tied between those three places. Europe, America, and China. Whew, it's kind of rough sounding when I really think about it. But anyway... Yeah, I'm in Dubai. This is interesting. I mean, the room comes complete with prayer rug and uh, Quran. And I'm not making fun of that at all. I'm just saying it's kind of interesting to see. I'm uh, really tired, so I think I'm going to get some rest. Morning in Dubai. And breakfast. Who knows what we're going to see here. But we'll see something. First, we've got to eat. We made it to the mall and uh, it's really really hot out here oh my goodness I think it's like 105 degrees I guess I've been in worse heat but uh, still it's pretty hot Too hot outside, but we're gonna subject ourselves to even more. We're in line to get tickets to go up to the Burj Khalifa, I guess, because we want to have a, a good view of the city. I mean, I believe it's still the tallest building in the world. We're not going all the way up to the top, but uh, to the 124th floor, I think we'll get a pretty good view from there anyway. I hope, I think. Should be pretty much taller than everything else, right?
Well, I've got the microphone back. I still don't know if anybody can hear me. It's so loud in here. That was interesting, I suppose, going up in the building. To be honest, it's about like going up in any tall building. Once you've visited one, you kind of get the idea of what the experience is going to be. There's going to be like a lookout or an observation place. One inside, one outside. This one didn't have the glass floor like they have in Shanghai Tower or some of the other things or the Pearl Television Tower in Shanghai. But uh, hey, there's less chance of falling through the floor that way, I guess. <laughs> Interesting anyway, but uh, yeah, it's kind of like going up in the Sears Tower or anything like that. Still, you, I mean, you can't come here and not go in the tallest building in the world, right? Okay, okay. Maybe I'm being unfair on the building. I mean, it is the tallest building in the world after all. So, there's that. A bucket list kind of thing, maybe. Well, in other case, we're gonna eat this fine Arabic cuisine here that we've got. Uh, gotta have energy for all this crazy stuff that we're doing. So, yeah royal burger thing. Okay, it's American food, but uh, it's just the same. Mm. I have to say, I think that's the best McDonald's I've had. I mean, I've had it in uh, all parts of the world that I've been to, but um, boy, it's, I don't know what they're doing here, but they're doing it right. It's a good, good McDonald's. That's crazy that I'm saying that. Yeah, it's good. I mentioned that it's hot here. Oh, is it hot. I think it was 104 degrees when we came out in the morning. I have no idea what it is now, but uh, it's not feeling so dry. I uh, kind of figured the desert would be dry. I'm feeling a bit of humidity in the air. We've been waiting for a shuttle bus for over an hour. It never came. So we're gonna take the Metro back, I guess. Boy, this metro sure takes a long time to get to. I thought it was right at the mall. Apparently you have to go through all these walkways of the whole city to get to it. Crazy. Ah, but finally we've arrived. Kind of. I hope. Well, that was crazy. Man, I've been on some packed subway trains, but that was bad, that was bad. Crazy ride. Well, now that that's over, it's time to eat. And tonight we're having some traditional uh, Arabic sandwiches. It's a club sandwich. I guess the Arabic part is the turkey bacon or chicken bacon or whatever kind of bacon it is that's not pork. But. Um, these things are good. Early to bed, early to rise. Who's saying is that? I went to bed early and got up early. And I still feel like I don't want to go flying. We're on the shuttle just the same. Heading to the terminal. The plane doesn't wait for anybody. I mean, this flight that we're catching doesn't even go to Paris. It's going to Casablanca. That's right, Morocco. And from there, we'll get on a plan that goes to France. It's a very convoluted sort of travel plan. And very unplanned. <laughs> Not planned, yeah. But then again, when have I ever traveled with a plan in mind? Or a plan that actually works? Never. But anyway, we're at the airport. Took the little train and all of that to get to the terminal that we're supposed to be at. I'm not sure how long this flight's gonna be. <laughs> this should be fun. Oh, and you probably noticed that I shaved. Yeah, I shaved. My wife requested it, so I did. I don't know. My son, he prefers that I have a beard. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, oh well. it'll grow back. It'll grow back.
plane. Hopefully departing soon without delays. Next stop, Casa Blanca. Oh my gosh, we're in Africa. I'm in Casablanca, on the ground. Finally, off the plane. Oh my gosh. I mean, the flight wasn't too bad. More room on the uh, Royal Moroccan Airlines than on other flights that I've been on where I've flown economy. But that landing, oh my goodness, the landing. That was pretty wild. I don't think that's necessarily the pilot's fault. Probably due to weather, but wow. <laughs> a couple of times I've flown where I thought maybe the plane was going to go off the runway. That was one time. That was crazy. But we're here. But we're taking the train now. Trains don't have to land. Usually. Hopefully. think it's better than flying. If there was a train to go across the ocean, I would take it. I don't know. Maybe that's, uh, maybe that's not realistic thinking, but uh, I definitely prefer the train to flying. Oh, I hate flying. That was a long flight. That was a, well, it wasn't that long, but every flight seems long to me. I don't know. The train's not too bad. Finally arrived at the hotel, our very quaint old hotel here in Casablanca. Whew, time to get some rest. Oh man. interesting we've got some local drinks um, kind of it says Hawaii on it but uh, well, I don't think it's from Hawaii it doesn't taste like it's from Hawaii <laughs> well, downtown Casablanca but it's time to go it's time to get out of here. It's been fun, but now it's time to go.
the end of being in Casablanca. What an interesting layer this has been. Next stop, Paris. That'll be equally as interesting, I'm sure. at the wrong airport. We've rented a car, but uh, it's at the other airport, so now we get to try and make it over there. Just kidding. We're staying here in a hotel at the airport and dealing with all of that tomorrow. It's too late to go in. Well, it's morning here in Paris, and I guess uh, technically I've arrived in France, so I could end this video here, but uh, I'm, I'm thinking, uh, there's still more to see. I still have to get to Dijon. So anyway, I'm on my way to the airport. My wife is going to be coming to pick me up in a rental car. I'll probably end up driving at that point. And then it's, uh, I think, three-hour drive on the toll road to Dijon. That should be fun, right? Dijon is a beautiful place. If you haven't seen it in my other videos, so that'll be good. It'll be good to get back, I guess, kind of. We'll see. Well, we're in the rental car. I'm crammed into the back, you have no idea. The, uh, I decided to jump in as quick as I could. Um, and the uh, passenger seat is like reclined and pushed back. <laughs> I normally don't fit very well in the back seat of a car anyway, but this is ridiculous, oh my goodness. Well, we made it to France and to Dijon. I mean, just look at these streets. What a beautiful place with so much to offer. I can't wait to show you guys around this place. I mean, it's got everything from dukes to wines to cheese and, of course, mustard. You better believe they have Dijon mustard in this place. And uh, probably not quite like the Dijon mustard you're used to in the supermarket, although I do believe it is available if you uh, spend the money but yeah, what a beautiful place. As I said, I can't wait to show you guys around. Well, thanks for joining us for that crazy journey. We'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>